Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. I was scrolling on YouTube and I came across this video called as How to Become a Millionaire. The truth no one tells you. Really interesting video. The thumbnail and the, and the title caught my attention and I thought of watching this video and sharing my two cents on the same. So let's get started. Hit the like button and subscribe and let's start. There are two types of people in this world, the 1% and the 99%. The 1% are the wealthiest people in the world. They have successful businesses, investments, but importantly, they have freedom to travel whenever, buy whatever they want and live life on their own terms. Then we have the 99%. Those who may have went to college, work a full-time job, some may even live paycheck to paycheck, have very little in savings and many aren't in the best financial situation. This does happen a lot. People like to divide everything between 1% and the majority 99%. Also, she talks about how you have complete freedom. It does happen, but then it is sort of like that situation in which you don't have a boss to answer to, but in a way your business becomes your own boss. So just make sure that you understand the situation. It is not all sunshine and rainbow, but let's keep watching. Now, if you're watching this video, it is very likely that you are part of the 99%, but you do want to become part of the 1%. But how do they do it? Seeing all those millionaires on Instagram, showing off their houses, cars, big... I'll be honest with you, looking at these people on Instagram trying to flaunt their wealth, there are two things that you should keep in mind. Number one, this all that they're trying to flaunt, it might not be self-made. That means that they don't really own whatever it is that they are showing it to you, flexing it to you. And number two, it might be the case that they are trying to sell you a course and because of that, they have shown you all of these things, the typical Thai Lopez kind of a video that you might see on YouTube or elsewhere. What you see online on Instagram might not always be true. So let's talk about it. How do you actually become a millionaire? Well, first, we do need to expose common money misconceptions that keep people from becoming wealthy. And the first one is that you have to pay thousands of dollars to get a good education and then get a job. And a lot of people believe that this is the best way to become wealthy and successful. And I don't blame them since that is basically what society taught us. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against working a job. But if you are watching this video, I do assume that you wanna become a millionaire and I'm gonna be completely honest, Working a job is not the best way to get there. All right, couple of things, right? First of all, she says that people end up buying expensive college degrees. I'll tell you this from the Indian college concept. You get to meet a lot of interesting people in college, right? I have absolutely zero reason to attend my college right now. I don't learn anything. I already have a package that's much more than the highest package in my own college, but I'm still going. What is the reason for that? Because I get to meet some really interesting people. I met my co-founder in my college. I met a ton of interesting people in my own college. It is definitely worthwhile if you have a good college that you are going to. Now let's take a look at why. Working a job means that you have to trade your time for money. And the problem now becomes that there is so many hours in a day that you can actually work. And so your income is always going to be capped at a certain amount. If you make $30 an hour working 40 hours per week, it'll take you 17 years to make $1 million in taxes, inflation, and other expenses. So realistically, it could take you over 20 years to make $1 million from your job. So you would have to sacrifice 20 years of your life that you can't get back just to make $1 million. While you could have done things differently and still made $1 million without having to sacrifice 20 years of your life for it. So that concludes lesson one, do not trade your time for money. This is so true. I totally agree with this. I made a separate video as well in which I talk about the sidewalker slow lane and the fast lane mindset from this book called as the Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. But anyways, moving on. You are going to have to create a business around something that has demand and is scalable. Unlike working a job with a business, there is no cap on how much money you can make. If you work 40 hours a week for $30 an hour, your income is always going to be capped at a certain amount. But having a business that runs 24 seven without you having to be there is not capped and you can make an unlimited amount of money. This is true that you can start a business and it can make money while you're sleeping. I am on YouTube, I make videos, I get paid when I'm sleeping, people are watching my videos. There are numerous other examples of people creating eBooks, people creating services, people creating SaaS platforms and people buying it when they are not working on it. That definitely happens, but starting a business is so hard. There is a really interesting book called as The 48 Hour Startup by Fraser Doherty, which talks about the same exact topic and how you can make sure that you are making something that people actually want. I actually listened to this book on Storytel. Storytel is an audiobook application where you can listen to stories and audiobooks. They have over 3 lakh audiobooks and ebooks in over 10 plus different languages. 
The high quality of narration makes it feel like the author is sitting right next to you and sharing his journey of building businesses and iterating fast. You can listen to an audiobook while you are taking a walk or while you are cleaning your house. You can bookmark certain parts of the audiobook and you can also adjust the playback speed which will really help you complete a book faster and you'll be able to keep track of all the key takeaways from the book. This is exactly what I do to finish one book every single week while retaining all the major takeaways from it. The best part is that you can listen to unlimited audiobooks at the cost of just rupees 2.99 per month you can get a 50 percent discount on the annual subscription if you use the link in the description of storytell this is one of the best investments that you can make on yourself so take a look at this book called as 48 hour startup on storytell but moving on let's continue with this video but now the tricky part is figuring out what type of business you want to start. And remember, if your business isn't scalable and it's not in demand, it is going to fail. But a way you can overcome this and satisfy the market is starting a business that solves a problem. Take Airbnb, for example. It allows people to rent out a spare bedroom easily and safely and make an income from it. It's also really convenient and allows people who may not make a ton of money to still visit other places. And of course, you don't have to build the next Airbnb. There is thousands of businesses that you can start. For example, this there is a book by Peter Thiel called as Zero to One in which he talks about about how the next Airbnb is not going to be about renting your bedroom or renting your apartment. But just keep this one thing in mind, copying businesses might not really work if you want to build a really big business. This YouTube channel or even the editor that edits my YouTube videos. One thing that just came to my mind is that YouTube is actually great if you want to help empower other creators, build better videos, optimize their videos, make thumbnails, help them make better videos, more engaging videos, you can build a really great business using YouTube. I have MarketUp, started MarketUp back in February. It has over eight different clients. We are able to get to $100,000 in revenue. All of that happened because people want to grow on YouTube and you can do the same by starting your own agency that helps people with YouTube services. But moving on. If you want your business to be successful, listen carefully to this part. Let's take a look at one of the most successful businesses, Amazon. There are over 147,000 people that work for Amazon, but it didn't start off that way. Jeff Bezos, CEO and founder of Amazon started all by himself, but he knew that if he wanted to grow his business and turn it into an empire, he couldn't do it all by himself which means that he had to pay money to hire people to help him. If you want to grow your business and grow it faster, this is something that has to be done. If we take a look at Amazon now, it functions without the founder, Jeff Bezos, even being present. And this is the exact type of system that you have to build for your business. This way you can focus on bringing ideas to the table and have your team grow the business. But your team has your back and you don't have to do any of the dirty work. Eventually, you no longer have to be involved with your business if you choose that route. And you This route is possible. However, it is unlikely that you will be able to build such a business because of the competition. Right now, for example, I run MarketUp. It's an agency based service that we provide to our clients and we have to invest our human resource into making sure that everything works properly. Yes, I have hired different people. Yes, I have my co-founder, but I still have to work every single day. And that is what you should understand. Reaching to the stage of not working anymore for your business, automating everything, will take time and it is going to be a little bit difficult so it's not as easy as the video portrays it to be you would still have yourself a successful business that's automated and runs without you being present that concludes lesson three reinvesting in your business is necessary in order to grow and see success now, what happens next once your business pays you a salary that you can spend however you like? Are you going to buy a Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, or Gucci shoes? You should instead use that money to buy assets, not liabilities. Liabilities don't make you any money, things like cars and clothes. But buying assets makes you money. Real estate, stocks, and businesses will make you money. And so it's important that you first buy assets rather than liabilities. But eventually, once your asset, like an investment in real estate, can cover the expense of a liability, such as Lamborghini, then it would be the right time to buy it. And that concludes... This is so true. You should actually understand this concept very well. If your asset can cover the cost of your total liabilities, that means that you are completely free. This is the concept of financial independence and retiring early. I'll make a couple of videos later on about the same concept in the coming weeks, but this is a very important idea you should always understand. Lesson four, buy assets before liabilities. A lot of the information I shared with you so far was inspired by the several books that I've read, and it would be a shame if I didn't share those with you. And so I would recommend you read these four books in this exact order, that way you can have a better understanding of business, entrepreneurship, and building. Now taking action is really important. As you can see, these books are recommended. Rich Dad Poor Dad, amazing book for the basics, very fundamentals of personal finance. Think and Grow Rich, 
I am not so sure about that. Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco, absolutely amazing book. It teaches you a lot about building businesses and gaining your financial independence. Four Hour Work Week is a little bit controversial, but I like the basic idea of that by Tim Ferriss. Moving on. Since you now have a basic understanding of building wealth and how to become a millionaire, the next step is to actually take action. 99% of people won't take action, but the 1% who do will be rewarded. Something that stops people from taking action is unanswered questions. How do I start a business? What business do I start? What if I have no money to start? What if I'm not smart? What if I don't know anything about tax? This is the exact thing that I want to talk about. People who are building these businesses, people who are in the middle of doing all of these things, they are just as clueless as you are right now that you are watching this video. They don't have like a golden spoon in their mouth. They are finding everything out ad hoc and they are going with the flow. And you should always understand that when you agree to build a business, build something of value, build a product, it can lead you to a lot of hardships. It is going to be hard. You will receive angry customers, you will be getting their emails, you will be getting their refund requests and a bunch of different things will go wrong. I have friends who have funded startups, I have friends who are running these profitable businesses. All of them go through this phase of confusion, of depression, of just not knowing what to do next, right? Like. You need to figure a lot of things out on the way. And if you cannot do that, then this might not be really for you. So just keep that one thing in mind. And it's great that you're asking questions because that means you want to learn more. But the truth is you're never gonna have all the answers. In fact, running your own business means that you're gonna be faced with problems every single day. And there really is no way to prepare for this. So the best thing that you can do is just get started and worry about the problems once they come up. And the solution to all your problems can be found online. Now, if you've watched this video up to this point and you've realized that this is just not for you, that's completely fine. Running a business isn't for everyone. However, if you've realized that this is what you wanna do with your life and you're ready to take on a challenge that can change your life, I wish you the best of luck. And never forget why you started in the first place. It's not because you want money, it's because you want freedom. That's a really interesting video. I like the video, I like the idea, but just keep this one thing in mind that it is not as simple as the video shows you, right? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was enjoyable. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? This is the first time I'm recording a reaction video to some other video, right? So let me know what do you think about this? Should I make more of these videos? What other video should I be reacting to? Do take a look at Storytel if you want to learn more. Take a look at that book called as The 48 Hour Startup by Fraser Doherty. You can take a look at this video. I'll have the link to it in the description. Great work, Sarah Finance, on making this video, educating people about this topic. That's all I have for you today. You can take a look at my Instagram as well as Twitter and I'll see you in the next video.